have you been worried about ovulation pain what causes it and if there are any profound long-term implications in this video we will discuss ovulation pain and let you know if and when you should see your doctor about it Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and founder of Ask Away Health. On this channel, we'll talk about everything to do with women's health, family health, sexual and reproductive issues. So please subscribe, give this video a like if it answers your questions and please share with a friend. Ovulation pain is pain in your lower abdomen that usually happens mid-cycle, about 14 days before your next period. The mid-cycle is about the time when a mature egg is released from the ovary. So the pain can happen on the left or the right side depending on which ovary that you're ovulating from in that cycle. It commonly happens in women about the ages of 18 to 35 years and it can be very brief momentary discomfort but in some women it can be pretty severe sometimes lasting over 24 to 48 hours. Another term that you may have heard for ovulation pain is Mittelschmerz. Now let's dive into the questions. Is ovulation pain something to be worried about? Ovulation pain usually is harmless and it's quite common. We don't know the exact cause. We think it might happen because a follicle is stretching the membrane of the ovary. It might also happen when the mature egg bursts out of the follicle, causing a little bit of bleeding that irritates the surrounding tissue in the ovary. In either of these two cases, things don't progress beyond that point. But ovulation pain may indicate a more serious underlying problem. Number one, a sexually transmitted infection which can lead to inflammation around the fallopian tubes and ovary causing pain. The second cause is endometriosis. Endometriosis is a condition where womb that appears similar to the inner womb lining happens in other organs like the fallopian tube or ovaries. If you want to learn more about it, we've got dozens of videos on the channel. Check out these two here, for example. Endometriosis is also well known to cause pelvic pain. And third, if you've had surgery in the past, for example, an appendectomy or a C-section, you might develop scar tissue around your pelvic area, which restricts or presses on other organs like the ovary or the fallopian tubes causing pain. The next question, does ovulation pain affect your reproductive system? Generally, if it's caused by follicle changes around the egg being released, this should not affect your reproductive system. But if ovulation pain is happening as a symptom of those other conditions, endometriosis, scars, or sexually transmitted infection, then there might be a serious effect on your reproductive system, which is why it's important to get it checked out if the pain is severe or it is going on for a prolonged amount of time, longer than a few hours. Next, can it lead to infertility? Simply having ovulation pain because of the follicle stretching or because of it bursting does not lead to infertility. However, problems like endometriosis and sexually transmitted infections, if not managed properly and quickly, can get complicated and lead to infertility. Okay guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you like it, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what challenges you've had with ovulation pain or pelvic pain for that matter. Next, how do I manage the pain? Well, this depends on the cause. For simple ovulation pain that is neither severe or prolonged, you can take warm baths, use a hot water bottle, simple pain medication like paracetamol or ibuprofen if you're safe to take those to relieve the pain. But if it's due to any of those other conditions I'd mentioned earlier, they need to be investigated, properly diagnosed, and then the right treatment approach used. And should I expect the intensity of the pain to keep changing or will it remain constant? This is a difficult one to answer because if you keep having the pain, you should see your doctor to check you over an abdominal and pelvic examination and whatever tests seem appropriate to work out why you keep having the pain. Tests like these can identify problems like ovarian cysts, sexual infections, scarring, endometriosis and so on. And once these are treated, then the pain should improve. Otherwise, if you keep having the pain but the tests do not show any abnormalities, then we can think about preventing them and usually we will use some method of birth control which will suppress or prevent ovulation so that the pain doesn't even come up at all. Something else you can do to help is watching your diet and incorporating a healthy approach to the food that you eat. Foods that are helpful to balance out your hormones are foods that are rich in vitamin D, for example, milk, cheese, yogurt and eggs. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids such as nuts like almonds and cashews, 
salmon, mackerel, walnuts, and so on, and green leafy vegetables like ugu, spinach, and broccoli, to name a few. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your experience with ovulation pain in the comment section below. And don't forget, you can join our community forum where you can share your experiences and get lots of helpful tips to help you live better. Before you go, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the comments.